It's the online free encyclopedia, offering 400 million visitors a month facts on, well, just about everything, from AAA baseball to ZZZ, which is, believe it or not, a Dutch drum and organ rock band. Happy birthday, At the site's 10th birthday party in London, co-founder Jimmy Wales says people essentially want to share knowledge. When I started Wikipedia, I was just basically a guy at home in my pajamas, like everyone else, typing on the internet and saying, hey everybody, doesn't this seem like it would be fun and a cool idea? Proof that it was, Wikipedia is still ad-free, funded by donations and entirely written by volunteers. In some fields, like broadcasting for instance, having a personal Wikipedia entry is considered good for the professional profile. But it's also a bit unnerving because anybody can edit it any time. I've just checked mine and it looks all right. But Wikipedia can occasionally be very wrong. In 2008, on the entry for the village of Denshaw in England, pranksters wrote that the local sport was sheep hurling. And back in 2005, a Scottish call centre worker built an entire false wiki profile of himself as a highly decorated soldier. People do uh, vandalize Wikipedia. Usually that's caught very, very quickly, just within seconds. Wikipedia is not quite as accurate as the gold standard of the Encyclopedia Britannica, but it is a fine first resort, whether you're writing a term paper or settling a barroom bet. So it's made my life easier. I'm sure I'd learn to survive without it. But I hope it doesn't go away. With plans now to open an office in India and flush with $16 million in recent donations, Wikipedia has come of age. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News. Everyone loves.